G'day guys, it's Daniel here from DanielDeSantos.com. I'd like to welcome you to this training video where I'll be taking you through step by step on how to add an image to your WordPress sidebar. For those of you who don't know me, I've been studying internet marketing and attraction marketing principles for close to four years now. And in that time, I've cried many tears of frustration, uh, broken at least two computers. No, not really. But it hasn't been easy, which is how I know most of you will be feeling right now. Hence the reason for this video and the many more to come. Because you see, I think it's much more efficient to learn the, from those who have been there and succeeded rather than trying to nut it out yourself. Okay, so with that said, let's get into it. Okay, so now to add an image to your, your sidebar widget, you firstly need to download a plugin that's called Image Widget. So head on over to your plugin section on your sidebar and click Add New. It's going to bring you to this page which is Install Plugins. You're going to want to put the image, the plugin called Image Widget and Search Plugins. It's going to take you to another page that brings up a list of different plugins. You all just want you just want to concern yourself with this first one here that's called Image Widget. Now I'll show you, I'm sure you know the deal by now. Basically what you're going to do is click Install Now. It's going to take you to an install page. It's going to, it's going to ask you first to confirm. Confirm that. Then it's going to take you to a page where you can activate the plugin. So you're going to want to go ahead and do that. Once you've done that, you can then head straight on over to your widget section. So over in appearance, you want to click widgets, which will take you to this page here. Now, once you've activated the image widget plugin, it's going to appear in your image in your widget section right here. So this is the one that you want. And all you're going to do basically is as with most widgets, slide it over to the place that you want. Now I've already got one over there, so we'll use that. But just slide it over to the section that you want it to be in. You're going to then open that up and you're going to click change image. And it'll be the same as when you're trying to upload an image to your post or to a page. You can either upload it from your media library or you can upload it from your computer, whatever you see fit. For myself, I got a banner done over at Fiverr.com, which is F-I-V-E-R-R.com. That banner there cost me $5 and one day turnaround. So, cool little tool there for you guys to use for yourselves. So, yeah, you'd want to go either from your computer, which is what I did, or from your library. As soon as you've clicked that and click show, you press insert, and then it's going to appear just as it is here. Now there are a few options that you can have with the image widget. You can put in a caption but I chose not to. You can choose it to have a title as well but I chose not to. Um, and you can also put a link in. So for instance if you've got a HostGator account, affiliate account or any other type of affiliate account you can have a banner ad for that affiliate account and then put your affiliate link in this section right here so then you're going to be able to add basically create your own ads on your website through your widget section and when they click into that ad they're going to go straight to your affiliate link whatever they purchase obviously you're going to get a commission from um, I'd suggest always having it open in a new window so that they're staying on your website or your blog whichever you're using um, you can manage the width and the height align it to center right and left. Now you probably just want to play around with the width and height just to make it look <coughs> perfect within your within your own site and within your own widget area. Once you've done that you just click save and I'll take you over to the page and give you a look of exactly how it looks. So this is what you, you'll be getting in, in your sidebar widget. This is how it looks. Now for me um, I just had it so that I've got another image, I've got another widget that allows me to have my opt-in form from my GetResponse account and I've just pasted that straight into another text box as an example I'll show you just quickly. So I've grabbed my coding from my GetResponse account, I've then pasted it straight into my text widget, click save <coughs> and voila, there you go. So instead of them clicking out 
into another page they have to give me their contact details which is called list building and something that I'll be talking about in future posts and so yeah that's basically all there is to do with adding an image to your widget sidebar thanks for sticking thanks for being here guys and I hope you enjoyed this training and I hope that it's been helpful to you and if it has been helpful I'd appreciate if you could head on over to my blog and leave a comment for me or if you want you can leave a comment on this video site that you're viewing the video on or come visit me on Facebook or Twitter thanks a lot for your time guys and hope to hear from you soon thanks